Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be giving a neighbor some free plants, I hope. I have no idea how this is actually going to go. I have a lot of extra plants uh, this season uh, that I purchased or were given to me or whatever uh, that I was I, I, I almost out of room in this landscape. So I'm going to uh, reward some uh, neighbors. I'm looking for a spot that already kind of has a mulch bed. I don't want to uh, go and be digging out grass in someone's yard to give them free plants. So uh, fingers crossed, I hope this actually works out. I, the, I'm gonna start with these three uh, Encore Zellias. This is the uh, Autumn Starburst, which were new for this year. There's a flower on this one, it's kind of spent, but they are actually in the process of reflowering at this point, this is the variegated one that has the pink in the center and the uh, white on the edge. Again, that flower is just about spent, but there are new flowers coming on the other ones. So I'm gonna take these three Autumn Starburst Encore Azaleas and my shovel and uh, see if I can give away some plants this morning. I've got the plants and the shovel with me, and I think I have found a good location. I've got to go up to the uh, door and uh, find out whether I've got the right location. Uh, they've got some uh, open mulched spaces without plants, and that's kind of key to uh, this operation is that uh, I want places where I can just plug the plants directly in the ground. So I'm going to go up to the front door and uh, find out if they want free plants. Hey, good morning. morning. How are you? I'm my, good. My name is Jim Putnam. I've got a cr uh, crazy question to ask you. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good so I have my first victim uh, for free plants. Uh, that actually went. Uh, that actually went quite well. Uh, the, these are the uh, Autumn Starburst Encores that you I showed you at the house. Again, um, they're about to, uh, about to rebloom again at this point. These have been in these containers for a little while, and normally when something's a little root-bound like this, I would take some of that new growth off. Uh, but these are butted up to bloom, so I don't want to do that. But, so I'm going to tell her she needs to do a little bit of uh, watering on these. I'm just searching for a space. I think this side of this landscape, this landscape is dominated by a large oak. And I think this side of this landscape is going to be a bit too shady for these Encore Azaleas. Azaleas are shade-loving plants for the most part, but the Encores definitely prefer a bit more sun than traditional Azaleas. Uh, there's some uh, uh, plum yews uh, planted along the driveway, some really nice hydrangea macrophyllas, uh, hosta here under the, uh, under the do like I say, dominant oak tree. This is typical of my neighborhood where we have these 80-year-old oaks that uh, just completely dominate dominate the landscape. There was another tree on this side of the property that came down and it has allowed some sun to sneak into this side so this is definitely I think the better side. Um, in fact she's got some Mullenbergia uh, 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 mully grass here that uh, if it's doing well it's definitely getting enough getting enough sunlight. Uh, there's some peonies uh, some zinnias planted uh, behind those, uh, a salvia that's doing quite well. So I know there's definitely a little more sun over here on this side of the landscape. And then there's a spot a little further up here that I think has the room for these uh, Encore azaleas. So, uh, and it'll be under a dogwood. What could be more southern than three azaleas around a dogwood? So this is the spot. So this is Carolyn, who has allowed us um, graciously into her uh, landscape. Uh, these, uh, again, this Encore Zellia is called Autumn Starburst. It's new for this year. It's one of the, uh, the many variegated ones in the series. Autumn Twist is one of my favorites. Uh, Autumn uh, Sunburst uh, was before this one. Uh, Autumn Starburst has a little bit wider of a white band, really like this variety. They're hardy in zones uh, six to 10. This one gets about three to four feet in height. Uh, the only maintenance uh, Carolyn's gonna have to do on them is water them, because like I say, they've got a lot of new growth on them and some flower buds coming. Uh, once fall settles in, the days are shorter. I don't think she'll have to water them much after that. 
prune them after they bloom in the spring, yep. fertilize them once in the spring, and you're good to go. I have one on Corzilla, and it's gorgeous. Okay. This is very exciting. Boy, this is, this is real clay here. Snake, 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 just let him go. Just let him go. Just let him go. Just let him go. No, not there, buddy. Not there. Not there. Okay. Go on. Go on, buddy. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Good job. Okay. Another mid-August muggy morning here in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zone 7B. A couple other things uh, that are particular uh, to azaleas. Well, actually, one thing is just particular to clay soils. This was very heavy clay soils here, and I leave plants mounded up just a bit when I'm planting them, and then I use my mulch to kind of take up the, the, the top inch or so, and that way the crown of that plant's not sitting down in that clay. So that's one thing. The azaleas actually like the clay soils. Don't go crazy amending the, uh, the clay soils. These are acid-loving plants. That orange color that's in that clay soil um, is iron. And uh, the pH is perfect here. Everything's perfect for azaleas, except for we need to mound them up just a bit. Azaleas have super um, fibrous root systems that are up right at the surface of the soil. And so I didn't dig a very deep hole, but I did dig a slightly wider hole so that the roots can easily move out into that soil. With that said, azaleas need to be mulched and so keeping the ground cover super important if the sun is able to hammer the soil bare soil next to your azaleas your azaleas will be suffering you won't have any idea why but it's really the the roots being so close to the surface are vulnerable uh, to that uh, midsummer heat so i had no idea how this was going to go uh, when i first came up with this idea and i've been mulling it for a little while with a driveway full of plants but um carolyn's a great host <laughs> And, uh, and uh, she's gonna water these uh, azaleas in and uh, take good care of them in their, uh, in their new home here. Uh, thank you guys for watching and following along. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and um, I'm gonna be doing more of these videos very soon.